Hi, I'm Peter Stonard, Technical Marketing Manager at NXP Semiconductors. Today we're going to talk about near-field communications and how to improve the user experience. Mobile or cellular handsets hold a strong position in the modern world, a quiet revolution that started just 40 years ago. Today, there are as many cellular handsets as there are people on the planet, close to 7 billion. About half of those handsets are smartphones. They provide internet access in addition to voice or text communication. A new feature on mobile phones is called Near Field Communications, or NFC. NXP offers cell phone users many conveniences including payments, purchases and security access with their familiar cellular handset. NXP is a near field communication pioneer and recently brought new technology to the market that enhances the NFC experience. What is near field communications? Near field communications or NFC enables smartphones to communicate by touching together or air proximity of typically 10 centimeters or 3.9 inches. NFC employs electromagnetic induction with a 13.56 megahertz carrier and between 106 kilobits to 424 kilobits of data. These operate in the unlicensed ISM band worldwide. The NFC Forum, founded in 2004, created this technology with help from Nokia, Philips Semiconductors, which became NXP, and Sony. NFC is not the same as the QR codes, which you can only read but not modify with your handset. Near Field Communications, or NFC, has three operating modes. Smartphones equipped with NFC can operate in any of these modes. The NFC card emulation can be used to pay for goods or access public transportation. The NFC reader writer mode can allow smartphones to transmit data with tags such as article tags, posters, or point of sale information. NFC peer-to-peer -peer or P2P mode is an ad hoc peer-to-peer -peer communication between two smartphones. The user applications, NXP is popular for money transactions such as purchasing goods or services that require authentication and security. They can be used for commuter tickets for bus and train services. MyFare Classic, which was started by Micron FARE Collection Systems since 1994, started using them for transport. It was acquired by Philips and NXP in 1998. Sales volume to date is 10 billion card chips and 150 million reader modules. In retail transactions, Google and MasterCard launched Google Wallet in 2011. Apple Pay came along last year in 2014. NFC requires proximity of two enabled devices, or an enabled device and a reader such as a point of sales terminal. Alignment isn't critical, but it is important. NFC field strength varies from several reasons. For example, the battery charge state varies during the day. Lower battery voltage means weaker NFC signals. Also, antenna orientation. If the send and receive antennas are not correctly aligned, communication may be lost. Antenna size is also important. Many phones are designed for their appeal, their case size, and their styling. The ergonomics of holding them in their hand are not necessarily the size of the antenna. A typical smartphone has five radios. The cellular phone service itself, which is a receiver and a transmitter, operates in the LTE cellular bands in North America. There are 14 different frequencies from 700 megahertz to 2,600 megahertz. The second radio is called BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy. This is both a receiver and a transmitter, and it operates in approximately 2.4 gigahertz band. The Wi-Fi, which allows internet communication, is both a receiver and a transmitter, and it also operates in 2.4 gigahertz, or five for more recent versions. GPS, or Global Positioning Service, which allows location and mapping, operates as a receive only from the satellite signal in approximately 1.5 and 1.2 gigahertz bands. 
And finally, NFC, which is a receiver and a transmitter, operates at 13.56 MHz in an ISM band. What has happened over time is as handsets have developed, they have become less friendly to those radio signals. There's a graphic which shows a decrease in usefulness of the radio as the cellular handset became more desirable or has awesomeness.